A soulful Christmas groovy musical review is an upbeat throwback to the disco era, a time when the fictional show Groovy Wonderland rocked the airwaves. Take a look. For the third year in a row, A Soul for Christmas hits the stage for just one weekend next month. And joining us in the studio once again, our producers Anthony Wayne and Kendra Bowman. Welcome back, you two. Hello, hello. And I'm glad you came dressed in suits instead of in costume. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, we have the wigs in the back. Oh, yeah, you guys <laughs> clean up very, very nicely. So, Soulful Christmas, I mean, what was the inspiration behind this? I felt like uh, on Broadway and off-Broadway, was no sh Christmas shows. It was only the Rockettes. Mm -hmm. It was Mariah Carey's show. Mm -hmm. But there was no shows that were celebrated Christmas with some soul, fun, disco music. So that's why we thought of changing Soul Train and making it a holiday musical. We built a Soul Train line in the middle of the audience. <laughs> we have Don Cornelius, the character. We have all the groups. So we just made it a fun, interactive holiday show. So it's the third year, which means... It's doing well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are really enjoying it. It's really, it's, the word is really spreading and people are coming. We have people even like Naomi Campbell and uh, Mark Jacobs and other people who have really been supportive and we're just excited to keep doing it. Yeah, it's a good time on Broadway. So is it a, it's a musical review. Yeah. And are we talking Christmas songs? Or are we talking, you know, because we're talking, yeah. So, mm, well, you so, know, so, so, so we mixed it up. We have the traditional <laughs> holiday songs mm -hmm. um, like The Temptation, Solid Night, and we have, uh, Aretha Franklin, we've mixed yeah, in there with Rocksteady. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I see he has to give me that. Oh, yeah, yeah. they got to do that. <laughs> Both of you are performers. And I would think audiences are just all into it because there's audience participation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we make sure everybody gets up and dances and sings. And it's a really, really good time. It's like really totally 1970s soul train disco musical. So. And so why just, I mean... It's so much fun. It's so colorful. The costumes are absolutely fabulous. I want some of the shoes. <laughs> Why just one weekend? Uh, because, you know, we want people to spend time with their holidays. And it's hard to get a cast here to, you know, stay in New York City uh -huh. and not go home to their families. So yep. we just try to get them in December and everyone's away for Thanksgiving. It's a hard time to have a holiday show. So we just get you in December. So yep. they give it also they give it their all for yeah, that, yes. that one yeah, yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we've been doing this a lot. You know, we produce it ourselves. We create it ourselves. So, you know, we actually do everything uh, all the way through uh, when it comes to promoting and selling and putting, putting it out there for people to see. So we're just excited about everything that was going to be and we're happy for people to come see it. And one of the things I admire about, about the two of you, because you guys, you're both artists um, and you have your individual strengths. You are just really not afraid to say, you know what, we're not going to sit back and wait for somebody else to do it. We're going to just do it ourselves. I mean, obviously, this isn't your show first to go around with shows. Talk to me a little bit about some of the shows that, that we all know and love that you've worked on in the past, that you are really the brains behind. Well, our first show that we've ever created was Mighty Real Fabulous Sylvester Musical, which mm -hmm. is the life of the 1970s disco singer Sylvester. Yes. And then our second off-Broadway show was An Evening with Phyllis Hyman, mm -hmm. which we uh, tackle and showcase in the community. Don't be afraid to speak about mental um, health mm -hmm. issues. And then this is our third show, A Soul for Christmas. And then we also have uh, other concerts, Queens of Soul, Kings and Queens of Soul. <laughs> so we just really like to try to bring minorities on the stage and off the stage and celebrate our soul music at every show. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I really love. I mean, um, and hence Soulful Christmas. You mm -hmm. All that music that we all recognize yeah. may not be able to sing as well as you two. Uh. <laughs> um, but it's familiar. Yeah. Um, you, you even got songs like, Hang on the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. Oh, it is Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. I'm the director. Oh, yeah, but... <laughs> that's enough. All right, you're to the show. See the rest. Yeah, we want. So the show, we got to tell everybody yeah. on the dates now. Yeah. December 14th and 15th. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. That's right. And what is that? Is it, is it three shows? That yes, we, we have did? a matinee show, so people can come out um, at 3:30 here, and then we have a nighttime show on Saturday, and then we have a matinee show on Sunday, so yeah. people can come out. The church, you know, <laughs> tickets, you know, a great price that we have for 
everyone. So it's a whole family show. Bring everybody. Yeah, and then and look, it's the third year, so it's it's popular, it's successful. Yeah. So you need to go ahead and buy those tickets. They need to get them now because it's going to sell out like it did last year and the year yeah. before. But we also encourage people, if they come to the show, don't be afraid to wear 70s clothing. We don't <laughs> seriously bring your afros, your bell bottoms yes. out. We have a Soul Train line that everyone participates in in the audience. It's a, such a good time yeah. for everyone this season. Great. Yeah, and the holidays, you want to feel mm. good and happy. Yeah, and every, um, it, gives, it gives something for everybody to see and everybody to come to, you know, and have a good time. All right. So, yeah. so nice to see you guys you again. Too, too. You could sing when we finish here. Ignore him. Thank you. Up next, socially conscious composer.